Hello, some time ago I made a video about the difference between used to and would, which judging by the number of views and your likes, a lot of you have found quite useful. You can find it by clicking on the link above and watch it if you haven't seen it yet. And now I have decided to make the continuation and talk about the difference between used to and be or get used to. First, an example of used to from my old video. I used to go to school by bus. As you remember from the first video, used to denotes a regular action, state or habit in the past. If you missed my old video, watch it for more details about the construction used to and how it is different from the verb would. What is important is that it's a past action that is no longer happening. This sentence actually says that I don't go to school by bus anymore. Now another example. I'm used to going to work by bus. In this case we're using the construction be plus used to plus ing form, which is also known as the verbal noun or in older references the gerund, and the meaning is different. Now it's not about something that happened in the past and is not happening anymore, but about a well-established ongoing habit. Ongoing means that the action, state or habit is or was present at the moment described. I'm used to going to work by bus means that I have this habit of going to work by bus now. And I was used to going to work by bus means that at that moment I had that habit, that for me at that time it was normal to go to work by bus. When be used to is followed by a noun or a pronoun, it means that the subject is familiar with aware of or knows something or someone, like in these examples. I'm used to this city means that I know this city well and I'm attached to it in some way. I was used to those people means that I knew those people and knew how to deal with them. Let's compare the affirmative sentences with the constructions used to and be used to. Used to goes without be and followed by the infinitive, for example, I used to go to school by bus. The second construction requires the verb to be in the appropriate tense form and used to is followed by the verbal noun. For example, I am used to going to work by bus or in the past. I was used to going to work by bus. More examples. I was used to getting up early. I'm used to working out a lot. Mary is used to reading in the evening. I'm not used to traffic jams. Negative form of used to, did not used to. For example, I did not used to go to school by bus. Negative form of be used to, be in the correct tense form plus not. For example, I'm not used to going to work by bus or in the past simple tense form, I was not used to going to work by bus. Let's take a look at questions. The first construction, did you used to go to school by bus? And for be used to, we should put the verb to be before the subject in the correct tense form. For example, are you used to going to work by bus? Or in the past simple tense, were you used to going to work by bus? Repeat after me. I got used to going to work by bus long ago. The difference between be used to and get used to is that the construction with get shows the starting point when a habit developed, so to say the outset of the habit. It often goes together with a certain time mentioned in the same sentence, like in the example I got used to going to work by bus long ago. More examples with get used to. I hope I will get used to my new job soon. I can't get used to living in a big city. I got used to jogging in the morning last year. 
This is all for now. I hope you've found this video useful. Check the PDF slides for this video in the online shop on my website and model.net. Leave your likes and comments below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.